We begin with breaking news tonight on WFMY News 2 at 6. We now know two children died in a Greensboro house fire this afternoon. Crews are still on scene investigating tonight. Ring doorbell camera video from nearby shows the heavy plumes of snow smoke on Glenside Drive around noon. The fire is out, but the road has been closed all day long. WFMY News 2's Amber Lake joins us live now with the very latest update from firefighters. Right, guys, so within the last half hour, the Greensboro Fire Department said that the two children pulled from this home behind me did not survive. Now, the fire department hasn't released the ages of those children yet that died. They did tell us that one adult was also pulled from the home, and they're in critical condition at Moses Cone Hospital. I'm going to step to you to the side so you can see what's happening behind me. We still have investigators going in and out of the home, trying to figure out how this fire started. They also had a dog that they brought inside the home as well. The call came in around 11:30 a.m. this morning. Greensboro fire crew said two children and one adult were inside the house during the fire. They were pulled from the home and treated by Guilford County EMS. Greensboro fire said the fire had been active for so long it had made its way into the attic. Yeah, it is. Um, it is strange that this occurs during the day. Uh, most of the time we receive calls when we have heavy fire show and it's usually at night when you don't have a lot of passerbys or neighbors that are awake. Uh, so this is strange. Fire crews and police are still investigating the cause of the fire. Police were on scene earlier today, but Greensboro Fire would not say why they were here. Firefighters are currently remediating smoke and carbon monoxide levels so that fire investigators can safely enter the home. The roads are still closed and will remain closed while they investigate. Again, two children died in this fire today, and one adult is still in critical condition at Moses Cone. Live here in Greensboro, Amber Lake, WFMY News 2.